my guru wasn't, he was different. Um, he said that meditation is a state that arises naturally as one is ripened and when's one, when one is ready for it and that you can't use personal will to enter into the state of meditation. When we asked him how to meditate, he said, meditate like Jesus. We said, what? Here's this little Hindu guy in a Hanuman temple. So we said, but Baba, how did Jesus meditate? So it appeared that he was going to say something, about to say something, but he just, he just stopped. And he sat in front of us, completely still. We'd never seen him sit still for a minute. In three years I was there, not a minute, maybe once before. It was always talking to ten people at the same time, throwing fruits in all directions, barking orders to the people running the temple. There was no peace. There was always chaos and fun. So he, it, it, it felt like he was jolted, you know, and he just sat there. And it was so powerful. It felt like the whole world stopped turning. We were just sitting there looking at him like, like this. And then after a couple of minutes, two tears came down his cheek. And he kind of shook himself and he opened his eyes. He says, he lost himself in love. That's how he meditated. He lost himself in love. He's one with all beings. The most formal practice I do is chanting which is chanting, essentially, coming from the Hindu tradition mostly. Um, that's my refuge, really, in terms of my daily life. That's what brings me back, no matter where I am, and I'm usually somewhere else. That's what brings me back. And sitting down, starting to squeeze in a little harmonium and sing, that, that immediately puts the perspective back in place. Okay. Everything at that moment becomes an object of meditation. Your feelings, your remembering, your thoughts, your emotions, the pain in your knee. That, that's a formal practice because you just keep coming back to the chant over and over. My meditation is, is not just chanting, it's not just sitting, it's not just doing this or that. It's really trying to be in that love all the time, no matter what I'm doing. Trying to remember, to look, and to remember, to remember, to, to, to be aware of that love. And it's not a love that comes and goes, that love's always here. You, call it some, you, know, you could call it something else too, you could call it, you could call it awareness, you could call it the God, you could call it self, you could call it Buddha nature. Whatever it is, it's always here. We're the ones who aren't here, <laughs> you know. So that's the refuge for me, is being, trying to remember to be in that love all the time. Mm -hmm.